Century Savannah is the Air National Guard's premier counter air exercise. We take the aircraft that you see behind us and we uh, execute fourth and fifth generation uh, integrated tactics. All the uh, airmen that will be uh, partaking will be training to their federal mission and uh, whether that's uh, ground-based training or getting the jets ready to fly and the pilots taking those uh, aircraft out to the airspace. They'll do a combination of defensive counter air missions, offensive counter air missions, as well as uh, cruise missile defense. They'll uh, also train to over the uh, land ranges, dropping weapons on the range uh, to continue to hone those skills as well. The Air Dominance Center is a part of uh, a group of four that's funded by the Air National Guard CRTCs, and that stands for Combat Readiness Training Centers. Each of them have a specialty to accomplish and provide training for particular units. Ours is particular towards the Air Dominance regime or air-to-air -air combat, which is why you'll see the fighter aircraft F-15s, F-16s, F-22s, F-35s here in Savannah. And so that's the training that we provide for those uh, squadrons around the country. So just off the coast of Savannah, there's an airspace that goes all the way from Charleston down to uh, Orlando. And it's about 30 miles off the coast, and it extends to about 120 miles off the coast. And that is uh, separated from any airline travel, and it's only for military use. Um, and then that's uh, surfaced to 60,000 feet, uh, around 250 miles north to south and 120 miles east to west. And so that's a, um, a unique airspace anywhere in the world. Uh, and so this is where our jets can go to train. Uh, and it's unlike anywhere else to uh, execute their full tactics that they're gonna, to, going to use in real life.